let's let's talk about now for the last half hour ish of the show. Can I call it a show? It's a show. You can call it a yeah. show. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's a good show. Yeah, show. That's, uh, uh, that's let's from something. Yeah. I don't even remember where that's from. If yeah, you know that's what it's from, from in the comments. Tell let's me. Uh, let's just talk do. about the actual trend that that Kyoshi had mentioned in his blog post, which is the Gurkha short, Gurkha trouser, I guess Gurkha closure in general, which is a trend the past you know maybe like five four years in menswear and you can look at like luca rubinacci for popularizing that um i mean he's at, again he's not the only guy who did it but that's one of the prominent guys influencers if you want to call it that in the industry who is wearing it um he did it and quit it stuff. he did um, it but for those of you who don't know the jerker <laughs> pant um so they are based on you know old again uh, nepalese uh uk military uh trousers shorts and trousers uh, they have kind of this interlocking belt closure. They usually have pronged, a pronged belt closure. They're not side tabs, um, and they kind of, they kind of, yeah, they're interlocked, uh, interlinked, <laughs> interlinked, uh, <laughs> interlinked, interlocked. Uh, they, uh, they, I don't, I mean, you find the picture. Well, of these I think, things. I think generally now what they refer to is just most trousers or shorts with a wide non-traditional waistband. So you'll find you'll find like the the wet price glory ones or the uni uniqlo uh gurkha shorts are not technically gurkha shorts but yeah i think you could yeah. fit those into the same category it's, yeah it's because a, uh spencer is a form of attached uh waist adjustment an inherent part of the gurkha design there or i mean to some i don't that... know because i mean i thought there's so. a lot of yeah a lot of people think so but i mean when you look at pictures of the gurkha stuff it is always that kind of you know, the picture I linked, that interlocked, interlinked yeah. belt closure. Because, I mean, there's a lot of military shorts that have similar stuff. There's Australian military shorts, which are, I'm going to send a link here as well, which I also have, again, vintage ones. Lucked out because I'm in LA, baby. Uh, but these ones have kind of a, a, a front, a front uh, closure. They're not pronged. But, they're more like a side tab, but they're on the front. And they have forward pleats, kind of similar to a Gurkha short. I don't think that they are technically... Gurkha shorts. They are still UK military 1940s style tra uh, shorts or closure, but the term Gurkha might not technically work for these things. Well, mm -hmm. the thing about that though is it's basically a side adjustment on the front. That's, I think we're getting. I think okay. I think right now we're getting caught up on semantics. Right. right. Um, but, you know, again, these are all very. These are all very related to each other, yeah. as 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 men's were called the Gurkha ones. I wouldn't call a regular waistband, regular pleated short with side tab adjusters, a Gurkha or military style short. But right. So, for so, the so purposes make, of this, so to make it clear, uh, then a, a trouser with out loops cannot be a Gurkha trouser or short. Is that is that right? Just because, yeah. Just because it's yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yeah it's, okay. it, I would say that the pictures I sent are the most common style of short that people consider to be a Gurkha short in which we are talking about today. And that is what is most popular when people are making Gurkha shorts or, or talking about them. It's on everyone's lips. Yeah, exactly. And again, like I said, these things were pretty popular. I mean, I'm, I'm sure um, workwear military surplus guys have been wearing for a while, but at, at some point, you know, maybe like 2014, 2015 or so, tailored guys started making these yeah. style pants out of, you know, more tailored fabrics. You know, they could can, still be- Can I really quickly it, say- that yeah. I have never liked the, you see these all the time. These are very kind of like, I, I, they're not like fast fashion, but kind of like very trendy, uh, high-end tailoring. Like the denim Gurkha trousers and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I don't like well, those. And I think, well, I think maybe the issue is usually they're also like very slim. Um, right. But yeah, a lot of the a lot of the very yeah. like trendy well, like, yeah, I have a problem with. A good point. Yeah, so a lot of people kind of hopped onto this again. You know, again, uh, Luca Rubinacci is the only guy I can think of that really wore it a lot, and it's the most prominent name. I'm sure there are other guys doing it, but you know, like yeah, they made them out of like you know, uh, linen Gurkha pants, uh, wool Gurkha, like you know, like like uh, I said, I've seen wool flannel Gurkha closure style pants. Um, you know, then, you know, you get them in shorts, you get them at Craftsman Clothing, makes them in, in melange, uh, cotton, linen, silk, which is, I think is cool, unlike Spencer. Uh, I've seen them in wash <laughs> denim, which I think are decent. I'm not, I'm not saying that because I do work for them. I think that they are genuinely interesting. I like, I actually like them in not wool, but also not like just regular khaki drill, just because I think they're interesting. Um, but yeah i mean that they're they're kind of a a popular thing that um 
Kiyoshi in his blog post has said he tried and he didn't like. And if Kiyoshi could again, could you just go through what you didn't like about them? Boy, where do I begin? Um, <laughs> Jesus. He hates no, no, no. <laughs> you hear that? I'm not going to just I'm not going to I'm not going to drag Erica shorts here. Yeah. Um yeah, cuz yeah. obviously I tried to make them work for myself. No, I think there's just a couple things that I didn't like. Uh the first was I'm not a super big fan of a very high rise like mm. I think a right. proper Gurkha trouser or short should be. Yeah. Um, well, they are definitely, they hit like, yeah. they are the highest rise thing that I have. <laughs> and I wear a lot of high waisted pants. It's the yeah. thick yeah. waistband so, too, which adds to Exactly. The yeah. Cumber yeah. bun style was something I heard someone say, like a cover, like it's a very like one P or like a very. Yeah. Thick it's like they thick. sewed a cover bun yep. onto yep. the top of my shorts right. or yeah. my pants. Um, and then they added all these buckles and buttons and all this other stuff on them that makes them extremely hard to take off if you need to do a number two um so for me <laughs> like i, I just don't like the life. fussiness of all that um just yeah. from a practical standpoint um but honestly like probably the number one thing i did not like and it's not that i'm against a wider leg pant or trouser um in fact nowadays i kind of prefer it i've been buying a lot of casual pants that would fit that description, but it was just something about the way when I would tuck in a shirt to this kind of pant and then have all this, you know, complicated waistband and the double forward pleats. And you look at all that together in a mirror and it just looks like, man, I'm drawing a lot of attention to my midsection mm. and my hips and I don't think that's where I want people's attention to be drawn toward, right. um, you know, on an outfit that I wear. Um, so to me, it was just like distracting to, and this is a, maybe a bit on the personal side, but uh, to, to a part of my body that uh, I prefer people not to look at too much. Uh, it's a little out of shape. So, yeah. um, you know, that, that to me, that is just kind of like, well, it's not comfortable. It's very fussy. It's not flattering, um, and no matter how much I want to make this work, it's just a lot of work to make. Yeah, it there work. was a lot of things so, that were already working against it for your. Mortgage. Yeah, yeah, and you know, again, I'm sure other people can make it work just fine for them. Um, and I do think it. Obviously, I think it looks cool because I tried it three times. Um, yeah. But that's the same know, thing the wolf yeah. did to blow down the house. Yeah, <laughs> right. exactly, exactly. Boy, oh boy. Um, no, I, so there you go. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's my reason why I didn't end up liking, uh, right. Gurkha style. Clothes. But you tried it's something it's that, funny, uh, you know, uh, okay, go ahead. I'll just go ahead. Yeah. It's a bit of what's uh, something that Kiyoshi said about the uh, face of Gurkha trousers. Um, and, and this isn't specific to Gurkha trousers, I suppose it, it is more general to just uh, white facing shorts. Um, they always struck me as a bit strange and, and, and a bit odd because w when you have wide legs but cut off like that, there's too much of a distance, I think, between your actual rather skinny legs underneath and the width of those trousers. Uh, but the width of those shorts, if you have full trousers, you can argue that you're going for a sort of an effect, a change in silhouette, which works, but it doesn't work when you have shorts. Um, so, so that's one issue. But the main thing for me with Gurkha trousers was. Uh, the attached waistband closures. If you recall uh, the stream on Wednesday, uh, I determined that the only real um, deal breaker for me, as far as clothing is concerned, is the lack of belt loops on trousers, on, on casual. Oh, which we talked about on yeah. Wednesday. It's also the yeah. highlight is on YouTube, by the way. Right. So to that end, uh, Gurkha trousers are essentially side adjusters on the front. Um, that's <laughs> part of the design. So uh, yeah, I, I always discounted You're that. You're like, fuck off, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that, was, that was a quick decision for me, and I never really forced by them. I've never tried them and never really had a, an interest in them. Uh, but but yeah, the uh, what, yeah, what do you guys think about uh, wide fit shorts? Though? This is going off on a tangent. Well, that, that's a little uh, on a tangent. Um, well, let me let me talk about it a little bit for, for myself as well. So there is an article that I wrote about changing it up called "Changing It Up with Gurkha Shorts." I wrote it in 2017. Whoa! And this kind of goes in line again. This is the reason why I picked it, and, and not just because Kiyoshi uh, had it in his his blog post about trends, but it's a definitely an example of me wanting to try something. And the cheap option was buying it from a military repro place called What Pie Spoy, which we've referenced on the pod, on the blog, countless times. And 
you know, the Gurkha shorts are still made 100% cotton. Definitely don't know where they're made, so can't say <laughs> if it wasn't made with slave labor. Don't know that. Um, <laughs> They also yeah. shipped from like the Middle East or something like I don't know. They're it's weird. Yeah, yeah. 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 they're like they're like based in like California, but yeah, it's weird. They have stuff, a UAE man. warehouse for some reason. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, um, but you know when you read this, like it's like I like, obviously I had molded over for a while too because I have had these inspiration images from Lawrence Fellows of wide leg pleated shorts, and the thing is, um, I wasn't really sold on wearing pleated shorts and belt loops because. Um, I I get I get all this thing. I I still I used to not like belt loops, and then I kind of have both. Because yeah, if I, I could like if I could remind belt. the guys of why I I like belts, though, it's it's because I like the contrast there. I think the contrast. Well, yes, of the kind of yeah. Belts. And I was gonna it, say it, it really, I, it's a really necessary part of a casual sort of look, at least in my mind. But anyway, go yeah. No, I was I was gonna say. I mean, I've I've kind of come around to that recently, or maybe in the last couple of years, where also having a cool belt. Is kind of kind of a fun thing to do, you know. Before I, I didn't really care about belts, and now we kind of pay attention a little bit. So that's kind of one reason why I don't exclusively just wear side tab pants all the time. Uh, but you know, at, at least back then, the appeal was um, I wanted to wear shorts, but I didn't want to wear a belt because, of course, wearing a wide leg, you know, short from like Ralph Lauren or something might be a little too dad. And as a fresh faced, you know, kind of you know young guy, I didn't want that connotation. So having a a high waisted short that was wide fit but that didn't have a belt could be interesting for me. And I definitely got a lot of looks when I wore them. Um <laughs> I remember in that that outfit you see on the uh in the blog title there I wore it to go to Target. I mean I was hanging out with MJ we went to Target to get some stuff and I definitely saw some people looking at me. Um which is fine. You know it happens you know still more often which not, is not fine nowadays. Uh but you know it was interesting for me to try and I did it. I kept it. It was really cheap. I didn't give them away yet because I eventually kind of, now. because MJ owns them now. Uh, but that is not because I didn't like them anymore or Gurkha shorts. It's because I found I got tired of the closure. So I still got the Uniqlo Gurkhas, which are more just wide leg side tab shorts. And um, they're still kind of, I still wear them similarly. I got the, my, the original Gurkhas altered to be slimmer and shorter. But the new ones, I keep the entire width and shape and length of them. So it's kind mm. of, just, I'm leading into it. The only difference now is the uh, side tab versus the, the belt, like the interlock, interlinked um, prong kind of thing. Um, but in terms of them, I don't mind them. I think, again, my issue is more just straightforward with the closure. Um, with the interlocked uh, prong, the belt closure, it is definitely not forgiving on your waistband, not visually, but physically, because, <laughs> you know, one of the issues that people have with belts is that maybe if you're in between belt sizes, it can be kind of difficult to kind of have the right fit where maybe a little bit too snug, you start to get uncomfortable. If it's too loose, pants, you know, just doesn't feel right, doesn't stay up, and you have to constantly be adjusting. But the thing That's is that happens... Why wear woven belts? Woven, I yeah, wear woven, woven belts, belts, yeah. I mean, you could say the same thing with side tab pants because, again, side tab pants loosen up over the day. Your weight, Also, your weight fluctuates throughout the day as well. So, you know, it can't always just be fixed. But the prong system is just... You're going to be locked into that position the whole time. And that's something I didn't really uh, enjoy just because I am very conscious of how my weight fluctuates throughout the day uh, based on you know, how much water you drink, how much food you eat, etc. And so... In theory, I don't mind them because I like high waisted stuff. I don't mind the wide leg ones. I think that when they're slim, it's worse because when you have all of that tension on your waist and they're slim, it just feels weird. So at least you know with with the Gurkha shorts when they're wide, uh, you know even if they're they're snug on your waist, you're not going to feel constricted as opposed to say modern ones where you wear Gurkha pants and they're really slim. I feel like that's a little too much slimness and snugness going on there. Um, and in terms of the shorts. I, I, the proportion is interesting. I know a couple of guys here say that you know it's kind of hard to reconcile like the short length with the wide leg, but I think that's when you start to expand on it a little bit. I don't really wear t-shirts and shorts. I tend to wear like a long sleeve rolled up, or I wear a short coat, you know, as a light layer to kind of play the proportions a little bit um, to kind of you know make it so it's not just you know. It's not just a replacement of a short. It's about creating a whole new look with the with those Gurkha shorts or wide leg shorts, um, which again is an advanced style move that some people are not there yet. But it can help be you know it can be seen as like kind of the end game when you can start playing with stuff and not just see them as alternates there. Um, 
And personally, I wouldn't wear the pants. I would just wear the shorts. Mm. Just because I think with pants, those are a little bit more... I'd rather just wear either belt loops or side tabs. I think I'm but, the opposite, though. I'm, I mean, I wouldn't wear it either, but if I had to choose, I'd probably go for the uh, the long, the full trousers uh, version of the Gurkhas. I mean, do uh, you wear shorts, though, Algis? Yeah, I do wear shorts. Okay. What right. shorts well, do you then, wear? Uh, just the... Uh, actually, again, as with black socks, I have a stockpile from my younger, fatter days, and I still rotate from time to time. Didn't have to uh, say that. Well, <laughs> well, that's why I can still wear them. Honestly, otherwise, how the hell, how the hell would you wear something that you were wearing when you were eleven or twelve? Um, Good point, I guess. Yeah. Um, so yes, I, I do wear shorts. Uh, pretty basic for the most part. They kind we're of wide, have a whole crazy. episode on shorts in the future too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd wear... I forgot. Yep. We recorded yeah. that a while ago. <laughs> Jeez, time capsule. Time flies yeah, uh, when you're having fun, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to wrap it up quickly, uh, full, full trousers for me because of what I was saying about the uh, silhouette. If, if I have a wide fit top, I'd like to continue that all the way. Man, as opposed right. to immediately end and just show my knees, which is a bit, I, I guess gotcha. it's a bit strange. And yeah. Yeah. Show, on the subject Who's of showing knees, uh, yeah. Far Easter says that he has to, due to his uh, Muslim um religion he has to cover up to, uh, his navel down to his knee at least his knees in public so oh. that is, uh, that yeah, is that's his that's there. his problem sold he's uh no yeah. the guy. Virus says he doesn't like he doesn't like wearing belts so the lack of a belt is definitely a plus uh for him i guess it could be uh, useful in hot weather though which is probably what the gurkha was meant for anyway um if I mean, you have yeah, a belt uh, there, probably would, yeah yeah you'd probably pull sweat underneath that belt and if you're wearing in the tropics yeah Spencer, uh, yeah. what do you think about Gurkhas? Uh, me, I like. I know them. You kind of said a little bit about the fabric and everything, but you know, independent of that. Yeah, I like them. I like them. I only have a pair of the uh, the Uniqlo shorts, the Uniqlo Gurkha shorts, but um, I've been wearing those a lot lately. Uh, super comfortable, and They're I good. dig the style. Um, I I don't think I would like the full trouser style either. But but you have them, right? You've tried them. Didn't well, you? I do have them, but it's not, it's not the, it's not the, you know, it's not the true, quote unquote, the authentic Gurkha closure. Um, the one I have is like the Uniqlo one, which I'm fine with because that's just, that's just an extended waistband, essentially. Right, um, right, yeah. But, I mean, the, 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 the one that, the closure that I'm interested in is the, the ones that you have that you post, the second image that you post in the chat, the uh, oh, yeah. Italian or Australian style with the two kind of, the two belts. Yeah, in the front. I'm interested in those, and I also really like the pair that you had that had the cargo pocket. Um, so a detail like oh, yeah. that, I think, is I, I, I'm definitely more interested in. Yeah. Uh, MJ, I know MJ again. MJ has my Gurkha shorts now. MJ's muted. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess he's uh, he's, he's not going to talk right now. Um, bye bye, MJ. Bye, MJ. Bye, uh, bye, but, Matt, what do you think about Gurkhas? Yeah, so I read Ethan's blog post about it back in the day in conjunction with seeing that photo of Chase with his Gurkha shorts. I don't know where they're from and his like a green like shirt open and with sunglasses and he had like white sneakers on and short socks. It was like this weird safari look to it. And I was really into both of those things. So I was like, okay. And I was still figuring things out. I think one of the main reasons was I just needed more like high rise pants and it was such a guessing game back then that i would know these these what price glory uh, gurkha shorts i knew that these would be high rise and i was into side tabs so i knew i'd get that as well so i was really into that i love the idea of getting the longer sleeves uh in conjunction with the the high rise gurkha short really like it i still have mine and i still wear them but i feel like what i'm trying to go for now is less look at me things and unfortunately the Gurkha is short those Gurkha shorts really call attention to yourself um so it's a little harder to wear casually like obviously you know wear the striped tee and all that stuff but again uh, I bought like two H&M shorts that I can make high rise just like where they sit and with like a belt like pulling the belt closure in and so like and there's still like cropped and the Gurkha shorts and those shorts, like, I, I added a two-inch cuff on the Gurkha shorts, and I feel like the legs aren't too wide on me. Like, I don't know how much I altered that to fit my leg hole, but they don't look ridiculous and exaggerated, so they just look a, a bit close, closer fit to me. So I don't have those issues. Again, it's mainly just, like, again, I have a slightly higher-rise short on, or, like, trouser, basically. 
and just trying to approximate that and balance out the rest of my outfit. But I found it easier now to wear those H&M shorts that I can pretty much make high rise and they're less, uh, 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 they're a bit more low key than the Gurkha shorts. And I still get a, a similar effect that I like um, with a longer rise effect. Yeah. I mean, again, I would not I get Gurkha shorts in the future or Gurkha pants. I just, it's not a design that I'm super into. If one of my colleagues would give them to me, I mean, I'd, I'd still have them, but I just, I already have uh, Gurkha or military style closure shorts in, in terms of the Uniqlo ones and the vintage mm -hmm. Navy um, uh, ones from the Australian military that I was able to cop. And then the rest are just kind of pleated shorts. I have a Navy pair of Chino shorts and then I have a, uh, a flat front pair of chino shorts that I got back in uh, college that I still wear because I like the kind of schoolboy look. Again, a different kind of thing that you kind of lean into. But they're true. These are the Gurkhas are very interesting. They have a um, you know a unique closure that definitely calls attention to itself. It's and a military heritage. That's kind of yeah, military heritage. Um, but it's kind of one of those things where some some guys lean into it wearing like just a, like you know they let the shorts speak for themselves so they wear it with a t-shirt and loafers or t-shirt and and uh, God, what do you call it uh, like white sneakers or something like that yeah. and some other guys who kind of incorporate it more more holistically you know like sometimes they wear it with like a like a chambray kind of thing lean into the whole vintage military milser workwear kind of look um, and other guys like me. Who, uh, who I, I do it with my schoolboy looks. I wear, I wear white socks with them. So it's kind of like, you know, yeah. Look, I mean, it's not, my attention is, yeah, look at me, but it's like, they're already weird. I'm already a weird guy. Why not? I just wear my weird, my weird outfit. You're a weird guy. What are you, a fit, um, naked, and famous jeans? That's, oh my God. I totally forgot about them. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, we could talk about like peacocking and dressing in the future or something like that. Uh, Cause I, I honestly, I just, dressing in the future. I, that's great. I don't uh, intentionally do that myself, um, but it's kind of like a side effect that I can't stop from happening. Is anyone else seeing these, like, what are those things? Beans? Oh, yeah, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Some ants? I think they're bugs. Uh, the game developers got caught. Hey, okay. are you back? Can you hear me? Are you ready to talk about what you think about Gurkha shorts? Um, they're cool. <laughs> All right, thanks, MJ. Yeah, I mean, what do you want me to say? I've worn them like twice because, you know, COVID. So yeah, um, I can't wear shorts at work. So there's but those that. two times. Oh, but they do don't have... let you wear shorts to work. Yeah, you know? but I do have the uh, Ethan's old olive Gurkha pants. Mm -hmm. that have cargo pockets. Oh, 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 that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's the yeah, which are cool because they have cargo pockets. Um, Carcass. Yeah. When they fit hope, me. To, hope to wear worms uh, soon <laughs> and more often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, it's one of those things that, uh, like I said, they call attention to themselves, but also like it's cool to wear stuff tucked into them because that's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah, yeah, it's the point, right? I mean, if you wore, it, it just doesn't make sense at all. If you just wore it untucked, you just yeah, wear yeah. wearing shorts. You're covering up the entire appeal of uh, Gurkha shorts. I think that makes them different. Yeah. That is the main thing. You yeah. are tucking a yeah. thing and yeah. showing well, off it's, it's, it's kind of similar to, in my head. Again, the reason why I made it work is not just similar to like a side tab pant, but you know, like a like a Hollywood waist trouser, where the idea is you're you're cinching your waist and you're wearing something tucked in, whether it's a t-shirt or a regular button-up shirt. You know, and I think that's kind of the appeal. Um, there. I mean, and of course, the forward pleats are inherent to like the look of it. Some people, I mean, I personally don't like forward pleats because they're a little bit, you know, they're the really? more elegant English kind of thing. There, I mean, you can see, I mean, Gurkhas are casual, so they don't oh, have to be God. formal. But I just kind of like going away from the body as opposed to going inward. Hmm. It's just a personal. Gurkhas are thing. English, so no, no, they I are. Yeah, for the came standard uh, for the most part with forward facing pleats. Oh yeah, I just meant like forward ple pleats in general. I don't really like that, but because of the Gurkhas, I mean, I have them because of that. So, uh, but yeah, cool. Uh, that's at ten o'clock. Wow, good, good.